Hey, it's Justin. So I got a fun one for us today. Been going crazy. Sorry, I haven't been getting videos out. But here's a, a weekend job, two-day job, two half-day jobs put together. Been asked on a few different media platforms, you know, how, how do I run my company? And what size equipment do I need? Can, can you get into land clearing? Can you get into lawn renovations? Well, that's a subjective question. I don't even fully know what does land clearing even mean? Can you do it with a lawnmower? Do you need heavy equipment? Heavy being subjective. Today, let's take a look at a couple jobs, small jobs that actually pay really well. What is land clearing? Is it just mowing trees over and making everything flat? Or is it getting the stumps and the roots, commonly referred to as clearing and grubbing? How big of equipment do you need? How do you do it? Let's take a look. I don't have big enough equipment to get into land clearing. Are you sure? quick little Sunday job um, so I ordered dirt yesterday right at closing time <laughs> they came in with a 30,000 pound payloader and uh, dumped two yards of topsoil on I still got so this bed is eight by nine uh, I figure there's still you know a seven by seven by one foot there's still a yard and a half in there when I ordered a total of two yards. We already dumped a pile. They maxed out my payload capacity. I couldn't tow a trailer. I <laughs> so this morning we had to drop the trailer, come over, drop that, pick up the trailer with yard and a half anyways of dirt, which is still a lot of tongue weight, a lot of payload. Uh, but let's go take a look at the short little project. So we dumped about almost two yards of dirt right there. Um, yeah, full full two yards. That's, that's a lot. Um, we did a stump last year. And we weren't going to do a debris removal. It was just a grind and go. And now the client came back and said, you know what? Why don't you come in and complete the job? Nope, no problem. Um, I, I try to specialize in meeting my clients on where they want to be. And some of them just want to grind and go. Some of them, you know, want the full white glove service. Some change their mind halfway through a project. A lot do. <laughs> so this is kind of the area we're going to fix for the client and um, make it all nice and beautiful. Hey, so can you clear and grub? That means land clearing stumps roots with a stump grinder and a bucket absolutely uh residual stumps and roots just with a stump grinder and a bucket if you don't have a stump grinder you can get it with a bucket could may possibly be a little more work but you can get it um can't do acreage with it but there's big 300 horsepower steel tracked 
uh, call them dedicated stump grinders that go out there and do clearing and grubbing. You, you can get by with uh, smaller tools. You're just gonna have to work smaller areas. And for this area and my tools, just fine, just fine. So let's blow up the rest of this and uh, start putting in a lawn. We got a baseline, got the area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say rough graded, roughed in, roughed, rough tilled, roughed, roughed up. <laughs> um, but it's at least a starting point for us to start the healing process. So we're gonna have to do some more sifting. We did a lot of grubbing, a little bit of sifting, a little bit of, we're gonna cheat a little and we're gonna throw black dirt uh, up on the top also and uh, start doing some grading, seed it, fertilize it, drill it, off to the races. Oh, I don't know if the last shot was 36 grit sandpaper. Uh, maybe we're at 60, 80 grit, still rough, but hit it one time with the TR3, back dragged it back over, not too bad um she's still rough still rough but we can finally start to see what the contours what the project is uh speaking to us and i think we're going to be able to do just a little bit more and in a short time bam we're going to be up in the uh you know 500 grit uh, real nice and smooth. Uh, I'm gonna go 120 grit, getting better. Whew. Sometimes it's a small projects with the intricacies with, you know, a tree right in the middle of it, uh, or, you know, uh, landscape rocks up and down the driveway that can be a small job and just turn it into a, a hours of labor. But, We got her pretty well done dealed. Um, the rest of it, we're gonna calm it down with the cult packer, but she ain't too bad. She ain't too bad. Got some dirt, we're gonna clean up this uh, curb, seed it, cult pack it, and that's gonna lay everything down, bam. Hey, what do you guys do with maple trees with surface roots? Um, I am not a fan of top dressing areas. Uh, this all got roto-tilled. Uh, I, I just couldn't do anything here. There was too many surface ruts. Um, let me know. Let me know what you do for surface root trees. Maybe we can both learn something. Okay, she's all done. Um, yeah, came out good. Uh, I I can tell they were nice and smooth when I see good contact with the cult packer. That, that's a big, wide, steel notch drum. Um, and if I get good contact with the cult packer, I know that we're nice and smooth. Yes, there are ridges and little bumps. I purposely put those in there. I purposely do not back drag and slick it with the bucket. Um, you'll have to check out other videos on why I'm so pro in the little itty bitty bumps and ridges and how that after a couple rains after a freeze thaw cycle next season they won't be there but we need them this season for proper germination seed to soil contact so that wraps it up it turned out pretty good all right on to the next one hey if you like what you're seeing i'm justin i'm the bulldog you see me doing these things, you could do it too. Probably even better. Cheers from the Bulldog guys.